Okay, so here's what we need. Obviously, the laser, a neon frosted rubber ball. I got this from Walmart. It lights up when you shine the laser on it. it kind of spreads light everywhere. Electrical tape. Toggle switch. 9 volt battery connector. And an aluminum plate. What you're gonna do with the aluminum plate, toggle switch, and battery connectors, you're gonna connect them in sort of a circuit like this. With uh, one end connected to the toggle switch, one end connected to the battery clip, and uh, just kind of make a little simple circuit like that. And then what you do with this battery clip is uh, take the rubber ball. Put it on there so that they are touching two battery clips. Make sure that it's touching the two terminals. Take a long piece of electrical tape. Tape the ball to the battery terminal. And snug. And then what I usually do is just kind of set that in the hole on the electrical tape. What you also want to do is uh, prop the aluminum plate up because that's what you're going to be making sound with. All right. Okay. Make sure you can see everything there. All right. So we'll get that out of the way now. Or actually, keep that there. Now what you need to do, oops, is uh, take a little piece of electrical tape to turn your laser on, so it'll stay on. All right. Now, put this in there. Kind of get, I don't know, I just like to prop it up there. That's good enough. And then I've got this screwdriver, which is the, a good height for the laser. So get that shining on the ball. Alright. Now it's time for the AM radio. I've already tuned it, uh, but my dial here is broken. As you can see, there's no little red line anywhere. But I've already tuned it in between two stations. I'm not really sure what the frequencies are. And uh, it should sound, sound something like this. When you turn it on, it should make a weird kind of ringing uh, drone-like noise. Like so. Alright, now I'll um, show you how this works here. Turn the radio off. Take the laser off. And uh, there you go. Laser Thurman.